Well, it's definitely better than expected. As the May jobs report smashing estimates and possibly delaying an expected rate cut by the Federal Reserve. The U.S. economy added 272,000 jobs last month. The unemployment rate unexpectedly ticking up to 4%. After the numbers were released, stocks fell. The jobs number is considered to be too strong, right? Well, then that, that puts the Fed off. That sends this market down a little bit here, and that puts, it, uh, puts us under a serious amount of pressure. The job gains suggest the economy is expanding at a steady pace. It also shows companies are still confident enough in the economy to keep hiring despite higher interest rates. The report shines a light on where job openings are. The report does show most of the job growth really is in health care, it's in government, it's in leisure and hospitality, and it's in part-time jobs. This mixed view of the labor market comes as the Federal Reserve wants the economy to cool as they continue to consider when to cut interest rates. Economists now wait for the consumer price index set to be released Wednesday. The CPI has moved the market a lot more than even the jobs report has, right? But no matter the jobs numbers, Americans are still feeling the financial pinch of inflation. I also think that there's underlying weakness to this. I mean, when you continue to talk to Americans, they say that this is a weak economy. Many people feel like we're in a recession. And a lot of that goes back to inflation and wages not keeping up. The Fed kicks off a two-day meeting next week. They are expected to keep interest rates unchanged. In New York, Lydia Hu, Fox Business.